Hey YouTube, welcome to Inktober Day 11. First of all, I want to say sorry for missing yesterday. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to draw or record anything at all because I was packing orders the entire day. Um, today I was actually packing orders for most of the day too, so I ended up just going to Starbucks with Steven and just sketching while we were there. So I was recording with my phone and my phone doesn't have very much memory on it so I kept having to record a little bit and then upload it to my Google Drive and record a little bit more. So because of that, there is so much footage missing, I'm really sorry. Um, so I started off just sketching and then I used a Pentel Aquash pen which is the brush pen that is water-based ink so that you can mix it with water. And I didn't bring any of my ink washes or anything with me, so I was using this pen and a little bit of water drops to create the shading on the hair. Otherwise, if you just use the pen straight, it's pretty dark, and I wanted a gray tone. So, yeah, I just I used my little eyedropper water drop thing and I put some drops in the hair and kind of just painted with the pen and squeezed out a little bit more when I needed a darker color. I'm so sad that part wasn't recorded because it was kind of a weird thing I was doing. I thought it would be cool to show you guys but I'll probably do it again and do it more in depth so that I can show you what I did. So because there's so much footage missing of this drawing I thought I would put it in real time for you guys because seriously there's like almost the entire drawing is gone so here the beginning part is just me starting to fix the eyes a little bit and starting to ink right now I'm taking out my new touch liners from Shinhan Art they sent me a whole bunch of new art supplies from their line um, and I'm really excited to try those out. They sent me their past watercolor hybrid gouache paints. It's a 48 set and I'm so excited to try those out. I think it might be a while though since I'm doing Inktober. They also sent me their set of their multi-liners and they also sent me a small pack of their touch brush nib markers, alcohol markers. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos with those to try them out, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So here I'm just starting to ink the eye and I always love, this is my favorite part to start out with because it's almost like doing makeup. I always wear winged eyeliner and I always love drawing it on the girls that I draw. <laughs> so now you can really see how slow I actually am at inking these <laughs> since it's in full time. I think. Since this one was really sketchy and kind of not really planned, it took me about an hour to finish. This is something that I would have in my sketchbook. And yeah, it skipped everything. I am so sorry. So pretty much I just inked the whole thing. I ended up switching over to my Pentel brush pen 
in black just to do the hair and the rest of it because it's a lot faster, I'm more used to it, and it creates really interesting line weights. And then I used those two Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencils to do some shading on her cheeks and her eyelids. And now I am just putting a little bit more blush around her and then I'm going to add tattoos. So I decided to make her a vampire because I didn't have my ink washes with me and she ended up being really pale. And I was like, why not? Just make her a vampire. It's like the same thing. <laughs> so I, I ended up adding, adding teeth and some vampire related tattoos so I draw a bat holding a clove of garlic and on her arm there is a coffin that says home sweet home
And once, once I was finished with that, I wanted to add some highlights, but I forgot my Uniball Signo gel pen, so I was using a Jelly Roll white gel pen, and it was horrible. So as you can see, I just gave up on that and ended up finishing it when I got home. We're waking up at 5 in the morning to leave to California and I'm thinking about doing my Inktober on the plane. I think it'd be kind of fun. Or maybe vlogging. But I'm definitely going to make sure that the recording works this time and hopefully I can get a new phone or a new camera that has more memory so that I don't have to keep doing this. <laughs> so there I'm just adding some highlights and a little bit more detail and there's the finished drawing. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Sorry again about this video and about missing yesterday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!